He's the most cut. He's too cuddly. He wasn't a straight. Actually, I've told this story, but I'll tell it again. So we got Alejandro from a shelter. No one would adopt him because he has AIDS. He has kitty AIDS. It's called FIV. It just weakens his immune system. So he can never go outside. He will always be an indoor cat. The Humane Society, where we got him, is in like the middle of a field. He was a farm cat. And both of his back legs were broken. And he crawled his ass to the front door of where the Humane Society is. And they got there in the morning. And he was just there. And the Humane Society took him in and like gave him a random name. That's why his name's Alejandro. And he was there for a long time. His back legs healed and they said they looked fine, but you can tell they're not. He'll never jump up on your desk. He's scared to jump on anything. He will run around, but not a lot. And he never lays like a normal cat. He always lays with his legs out to like the side. You can just tell like it's, he's got some weird legs. He is the most affectionate cat I have ever had in my life. You can just pick him up and he'd be like, yeah, okay. Like, that's fine. That's cool. Actually, I don't mind this at all. I enjoy this because I'm in your company. He's so annoying, though. In the morning, he'll notice I'm awake. Like, I won't even be fully awake. And he'll be like, I see that you're awake now. And he'll come up next to the bed and he'll be like, meow, meow. And I'll be like, okay. And then, and then I'll ignore him. His ass will jump on the bed and he'll like sit on my pillow next to my face. Then I get up. And he'll just follow me around the kitchen, looking up at me going, meow, meow. And I'm like, what do you want? I talk to him like he's a person. And then I'll open the fridge and his ass will like crawl in the fridge. And I'm like, dude, what? no. He just meows and meows and meows at me. In the morning, I make my coffee. I walk away. He's done with me. He just wanted to tell me about his night, what he did. If he could talk, there, I, I imagine he would say two things. One would be like, fuck you. Because sometimes I scare him or whatever. And the other thing would be like, wow, look at this. He thinks I'm dead when I go to bed. But when I wake up, he's like, you are literally not going to believe what happened last night. I stared at a wall for like an hour and a half and nothing happened. Feed me more? No, he has an auto feeder and he doesn't eat all of it anyways. He's very good at maintaining his own weight. He's not a fat cat. Look, look, wait, okay. Ow! Stop biting me. He's not fat. Ow! He loves me more than anything. Ow! Does he stink? No. What? No, of course not. He smells really... Bro, that's what he does all day. This. You pet him and he's like, oh, you gotta get that off me. Don't, don't touch me. But also like pet the out of me. I just need to clean it in 10 seconds. What are you doing, cat? You just clawed the out of my leg, bro.